Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and we are here at the Pocono Raceway to qualify for the first race in the second half of the season in season number eight of the NOFSRL Chick-fil-A Cup Series. I'm really excited for this one. The Hers Live Life with Flavor 400 tomorrow at noon Eastern Time. Today we qualify today, right now, we set the two under guys who will make their way into the big show. And Marty, this is a very interesting racetrack, the Pocono Raceway. What are these drivers going to do tomorrow uh, to move around this racetrack and get the race victory in the 15th race of the season? Well, one thing I know they're going to have to do definitely is not worry about turn four whatsoever. <laughs> but I feel like this is going to be a uh, race where you're going to see have drivers have to rely on the apex on the inside line of turns one, two, and three and then rely on the straightaways to try and get the victory. Now these turns resemble three different tracks. I know turn two resembles Indianapolis. I believe, I'm sorry about the notifications by the way everyone. Um, I believe turn two as well um, relies, not turn, turn two is definitely Indianapolis. I think turn uh, one I is I know, well, if you want me to tell them. <laughs> yeah. so, so turn one is based off of the old Trenton. Uh, Speedway, uh, defunct racetrack that used to be in Trenton, New Jersey. Turn two, like I said, Indianapolis. Turn three, based off of the Milwaukee Mile. But uh, all three turns here at Pocono are completely different from each other, and uh, definitely creates a very interesting race. Now, this race, as far as I know, I think season six went caution free. So if that's the case, the past three races here at Pocono in the Chick Fil A Cup Series have gone caution free, which means you're probably going to want a good starting position because once you're up front, you're not really going to have a restart to really bunch back up and move your way through the field but either way it's going to be a fun race 32 laps of action tomorrow and we're back in action you know just doing the chick Flake cup series and nico series and rockstar pro series like we originally planned uh but at this point uh, we should not have any problem doing that so apologize for all the confusion the past few days with what we're doing and everything uh but like i said just overdid myself a little bit and uh cutting it down just a little bit so we can do a good job on the what is planned to be final season of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. But don't worry, something will uh, come in its place and uh, we won't stop at a 2003 racing here on Napa Fan. But uh, as of now, this is going to be the last season. So, might be the last time these guys come to the Pocono. So, pretty big deal. And uh, I would like to also add as well, when it comes to this race at Pocono, watch out for the starts and the restarts because they can get crazy because of how wide uh, the front straightaway is. In the IndyCar series back in 2015, there was a restart on, on the driver's went seven wide in a turn one. Super insane. I don't know if we'll see that with uh, this kind of racing, though. You do go a little bit slower here in these stock cars. Of course, we will be having the Haas IndyCar series finale here in August. Uh, so we're looking forward to that race and the real life one as well, aren't we, Marty? <laughs> but, oh, uh, yes, definitely. We are looking forward to that. Indeed, but either way, right now, the fast two guys here in Unjoker qualifying are Steven Thompson and the 67 machine of Zachary DeLello. And as always, the top two fastest drivers in each Uncharted session move on to the race and to qualify for the pole position later on in the day. We might see a fast time out of one of these guys. You got Christian Russell drafting right off of Justin, Zide or Justin Zidell's team car, Julio Caesar in the number 10. But uh, Christian Russell is going to go to the top of the board with that lap, and he really grabbed the fast time there at a 52.686. Pretty much, you know, a home field race for American Motorsports, and uh, it'd be great to see their unsure driver make it into his third race of the season. He qualified his way into the Coke 600 last week, and he's looking to do so here this week at the Pocono Raceway. But he's right now on the bubble as Steven Thompson moved up to the top of the board with a 52.664. And uh, we'll have to see if that holds up for Thompson and Russell. Julio Caesar's in front of Christian Russell here. Not a good place to be at a place like Pocono where drafting definitely comes into, uh, comes into effect, I should say. Angel Olvera there, Colton Yo, Daniel Voiles, and Nick Smith all by themselves. And uh, they're right now some of the slowest guys on the racetrack. And uh, Julio Caesar just went to the top of the board. He's actually going to get pushed there from the 62, and somehow he ended up going faster than Steven Thompson. So now it's Justin Julio Caesar. I don't know why I keep on wanting to say Justin Zidell. Oh, it's because he drives the 10. 
And that's the car number he drives in the IndyCar series. That's why. And, but uh, uh, Julio Caesar is the fastest with Stephen Thompson now second. We'll have to see if Christian Russell can beat Thompson's time here because he's right now the first guy out. And Napa, that's what happens when you have that draft at Pocono. You go a lot faster. This is, according to NR2003 specifications, this is considered a super speedway, two and a half miles. I don't know why. But, yeah, the draft works at this track pretty well. It definitely does, especially with the longest straightaway in the entire circuit. And Christian Russell, top of the board, pushing Stephen Thompson out. And it's looking like it's going to be these two guys racing in the hers. Live life with Flavor 400 from Pocono tomorrow at noon Eastern time. Christian Russell, Julio Caesar, I believe we'll get 30 more seconds on the clock. We'll have to see if there's anybody else that can beat that time. I don't think there will be. So with that, it's going to be Christian Russell and Julio Caesar advancing on to the 15th race of the season here from the Pocono Raceway. So Christian Russell with the fastest time in uncharted qualifying. He, along with Julio Caesar, will join the other 40 full-time drivers here for Pocono qualifying right now. So there are the official standings. Drivers I can get to it. To From car. the first uncharted qualifying session of the day, Christian Russell, Julio Caesar in the big show. Everybody else going home at the end of the day. Here is full-time qualifying for the pole position here in the hers Live Life with Flavor 400 from Pocono. And here we are to set the starting lineup for tomorrow's hers Live Life with Flavor 400 from the Pocono Raceway. Going to be an interesting race tomorrow. 32 laps of action. And 10 minutes of group qualifying to set the starting lineup. Jesse Turner, the first driver out there in the number 77. John Andrews and Nathan Baird, a couple of guys who are really up there in the point standings. As a matter of fact, Nathan Baird is our new points leader after the Coke 600 last week. Had a really good outing there at the Charlotte Motor Speedway to put him in the top position. He's five points ahead of now Mark Davidson, uh, who also got a really good run. Um, in the point standings after winning the Coke 600 last week. Davidson's five points behind, and then John Andrews in the 04 actually lost the points lead, is now seven points behind um, after the halfway point of the season. So uh, by the looks of it, it's going to be a really close championship battle. Remember, there is no chase, so it's a strict points championship, so you got to be consistent every race you can possibly get. And... Uh, if you're not consistent, you're not going to win the championship. It's as simple as that. Roger Ray's back here as well. You got Nathan Bear and Jesse Turner side by side in qualifying. There's Michael Canto, Patrick Smith, Riley Spurley is there as well. Here's the number 28 of Nathan Stapleton. Stapleton really, really, really needing a rebound here in the Chick fil A Cup. So he's been 40th in the points pretty much the entire season. He's got the Martinsville winner of Jonathan Skimnicki right behind him. Here's Christian Master. Here's Garrett Sonor. Eric Gillard and Alonzo back in the number 30 machine. Ace Garcia, Cody Sill, Silas Orta. Oh, and a wreck. That is the number 68 of Carter Friesen. Christian Russell and his teammate Justin Roberts getting caught up in a little bit of an accident there off the pit lane. And they're going to have to come back around to uh, get their lap times in. And they are blocking the racetrack right now. This is going to affect the lap times here in qualifying now. When a driver wrecks in qualifying, it does not affect the fastest time they put down, but Justin Roberts can't get stopped. There he goes. He's finally going to get going here, but you see all these guys on the outside lane uh, having to avoid this. It's a tough break for driver number 38, Justin Roberts, as he's going to have to come back around and uh, complete another lap. Fastest guy is the 04 of John Andrews. With the 81 of Ace Garcia, Roger Ray, Hergel Arv, Alonzo, Jesse Turner, Cody Sill, Jonathan Skimnicki, Christian Master, who's one and only Chick-fil-A Cup Series win, and I believe it's only one win, uh, has come here at the Pocono Raceway, and you got Nathan Stapleton there as well. Uh, Josh Marzak, Pennsylvania native, the sixth in the number 34. See all these guys looking to get their fast laps in. It's another tribute car. Uh, last week we had Alonzo. It's a tribute to uh, team owner Trey Wright. His uh, grandfather unfortunately passed away earlier in the year. And that's a tribute car to him. 
actually uh, grew up in Pennsylvania, uh, Trey Wright's grandfather did, so a uh, special uh, tribute there for Trey Wright and his American Motorsports team, because this is the, the home race for American Motorsports. I know that Trey would love to see this car or any of their cars win. Justin Roberts, Nathan Stapleton, Christian Russell, he's got all four of them in the show. Right now, it's Sebastian Kukalon, fastest here in qualifying, as he's drafting right off of Daniel McMillan there. McMillan is fourth fastest right now, with Ace Garcia second, Alonzo third, Fisher G is fifth, Jonathan Skim, Nicky, Nathan Stapleton now, Julius Anderson at the top of the board in the number 22. He's drafting off of Mark Davidson, and he's a good guy to be behind because that guy was wicked fast at the Charlotte Motors Speedway. Uh, he led, I don't think he led the most laps. I think Yepes led the most laps in that race. Uh, but obviously Mark Davidson really fast last week getting his first career Chick-fil-A Cup Series race victory. And uh, he did so in dominating fashion near the end. And with that, he only is five points behind points leader Nathan Barrett. So he can easily retake the points lead at the end of tomorrow's race here from Pocono. Michael Canto, John Art, Garrett Sinor. Nathan Stapleton and the 40 machine of Nathan Baird. It's the top five fastest guys right now with the 39 machine of Riley Spurley, Emily Anderson, Jonathan Skibnicki, Jesse Turner, and here Joe Larvin Alonzo, the top 10. And like I mentioned earlier on in Uncharted Qualifying, you're probably going to want to be one of the top 10 guys, top 20 guys, because there's a very, very good chance this race could go caution-free, and if you're not starting up front, it might be a little difficult to uh, work your way to the front. Garrett's in order just went to second in the number 16. Not enough to knock off Michael Canto. We'll try to find Canto on the racetrack. As he is currently our uh, provisional pole sitter for the Hers Live Life with Flavor 400. There he is, grappling off of John R., who is now third fastest. John R. looking pretty fast, pretty sporty this week here at Pocono. And his teammate, Emily Anderson, also doing the same. She is seventh right now. Emily Anderson's only 11 points behind Nathan Baird in the championship standings. That number five, who wins the championship again? I don't know what to do. It'll be the third straight season where the driver of the number five won the driver's championship. Elijah Gordon has won it the past two seasons. Emily Anderson has a very, very good shot at doing so this season. Of course, we're only halfway through the season, but... Uh, He's 11 points off the points lead halfway through, and with how many races we've had so far, with how spread out it is behind her, she's doing a very good job in this EGI machine, but she's yet to really even contend for a win yet this season. And as a matter of fact, of the top four in points, she's the only driver without a win this season. So we'll have to see. Maybe Emily Anderson has a shot tomorrow as she's going to be starting on the inside lane up front at the Pocono Raceway, but the driver alongside her Really going to be starting up front if it stays the way it is. Michael Canto in the number 12. Still the fastest looking to start on the pole for tomorrow's 32 lap race. And uh, Michael Canto is a driver for Velocistar Racing. The team owner, Matt Tuck, won this race as a driver last year. As an uncharted driver last year, I should say. And uh, I'm sure Matt Tuck would love to do it again as an owner this year. I don't know. Yeah, they've gotten a win. They've gotten a win. Andrew Ross got a win for him. Uh, that was at the Texas Motor Speedway. They've gotten one win so far this season. One team that's still yet to get a win is Idell Motorsports. They don't have any of their guys in the top ten right now here in qualifying. Do the rest of the uh, current standings in the qualifying session. You got Kukul on there. You got Trey Barto. This is the site of Trey Barto's first career Napa fan win, and it came in very stunning fashion. As uh, Kosh came out that ended the race, and uh, race leader Blaine Keyes came down the pit lane, and Trey Bart just stayed out and just took the lead and took the win away. But you see the number four right there, currently in the 12th position. You had Julio, or Julius Anderson there. Oh, somebody uh, somebody went in there. I was thinking it was Christian Russell who knocked Jesse Turner out of the ninth position. Great run there for Christian Russell. The late session push there in the number 62. He's been doing pretty good lately. He made his way into the Coke 600, his second straight race that he's qualified for, and uh, he really, really had a tough time at the beginning of the season making it into the show. Well, here he is in his third start of the season, and his second that he's actually qualified his way into because he did have a few races there without any qualifying. So great job by Chris and Russell uh, making team owner Trey Wright proud here in their hometown race. Not really hometown, but their home race track in a sense. Or you can just pretend that everyone's Martin Truex Jr. and this is everyone's home racetrack. 
So, Michael can't tow. We still got a minute left on the clock, so still a little ways to go here in uh, pole qualifying, but uh, we have not seen any change in the times the past five minutes. It's usually how it is in these qualifying sessions, so I definitely... Uh, look for Michael Canto to lead the field of the green flag tomorrow alongside Garrett Sonor in the number 16, John Art, Nathan Stapleton, and Nathan Bear, the top five, 39 machine as well there, Riley Spurley. And Christian Russell again moving his way up. He's now in the seventh position, pushing Emily Anderson out of the seventh place. And it's Emily Anderson, John Mitzkevnicki, and Jesse Turner rounding out the top ten right now, but... Number 62 uh, keeps on improving his lap times there. He was drafting off a of Lucas Jacobson there in this draft, and uh, he got himself a pretty snazzy time there in the number 62 machine. This race usually comes down to strategy. I know when Caleb Hoffman won this race, his last pit stop was fuel only while other guys came to take tires and... Uh, so Caleb Huffman won his actually last race on Napa Fan. It was uh, last race two years ago here at the Pocono Raceway. Surprising, it was that long ago for uh, driver uh, who uh, was in the first six seasons of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. One of the legendary drivers of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series who retired at the end of 2017. John R. recently tied him on the uh, wins list at uh, 18 victories. And he's going for number 19 this weekend. And if he were to do that, he'd tie Garrett Sonor. But surprisingly enough, one guy that's ahead of him in this leaderboard is Garrett Sonor. So it's going to be interesting to see if uh, it comes down to John and Garrett Sonor for the race win. That would definitely be an interesting battle. It would be a classic battle if it were to happen. There's the Kansas winner, Mitchell Henderson. Uh, Henderson is currently 23rd fastest in the number 25. But Mitchell Henderson, a race winner so far this season. And we've only had one driver win multiple races so far this season. That Nathan Baird in the number 40, whose second win came at Dover after he won Atlanta at the top of the season. Still 30 more seconds left to go. And then the session will be done. It is the number 12 machine of Michael Canto, who will lead the field to the green flag. For tomorrow's herds, live life with flavor 400 from the Pocono Raceway. So that's going to do it right there after the timer runs out. Michael Canto for Velocistar Racing. Going to have a good shot at winning tomorrow's race, getting his first career Chick-fil-A Cup Series race victory. He was a Driver, rookie last season. He's car. yet to get a win this season. We'll have to see what he can do. As he leads the field of the green flag alongside Garrett Sonor, John Art, Nathan Stapleton, Nathan Baird, Riley Spurley, Christian Russell, Emily Anderson, John Evanskiewicz, and Jesse Turner are the top ten. And good to see Justin Roberts got out there and got a good time. And then number 38, he will be starting in the 11th position. Take a look at the rest of the results right there. And you see the guys back in there. Brad Stover, Wyatt Quayle, Seth Cole, Tristan Allen, Mark Davidson. Her last winner, 38th right now. Or 38th fastest. That's where he's going to be starting. Uh, one tie between Andrew Miller and Mitchell Henderson. I don't know who has the tiebreaker, but I'd venture to say it's Henderson, so we'll have to see how that all shakes out there. And uh, we will break that tie for you. Uh, but other than that, that's how they line up for tomorrow's 32-lap race here from the Pocono Raceway. Race 15 of the season in Season 8 of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. Congratulations to Michael Cantor for winning the poll, and me and Marty will have the call for you tomorrow at noon Eastern Time right here on Napa Fam. And in an hour, less than an hour, it is the Pennsylvania 80K in the Rockstar Pro Series. This guy's back in action after an entire month um, off from racing. Going to be their first time at the Pocono Raceway. Going to be an interesting one. 20 laps here at the Pocono Raceway for the Pennsylvania 80K. But thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to Michael Canto. And I will see you guys later.